Because of the great similarity between modern lizards and modern snakes, they are classified in the same biological order, Squamata. Uh, among the lizards, it is the modern monitor lizards, which seem to be uh, the group which is most closely related to snakes. Now, monitor lizards had fossil relatives which adapted to life in the ocean, uh, such as the agilosaurs and mosasaurs. These lizards actually are uh, anatomically closer to snakes, given not only the reduction of the hind limbs, the elongation of the body, and increased mobility of the jaw. And so therefore, it is thought that the first snakes, which were marine, were closely related to uh, a group of marine lizards known as the mosasaurs. There are a number of animals living today which have reduced their legs, commonly seen in lizards and salamanders. There are fossil lineages of amphibians which lost their legs, and a number of modern lizards have lost their legs. It is thought that this is uh, how snakes originated. From lizards and probably marine lizards similar to mosasaurs, uh, which lost their legs in a way similar to uh, the way in which some modern lizards have lost their legs. And these would have given rise to the earliest snakes. There are three fossil snakes known which have no trace of their arm or shoulder, but which still retain uh, the bones of their hips and legs, and their legs were small elements which uh, protruded from uh, the body. Pachyrhachis was the first discovered. Hasiophis has uh, the remains of metatarsals and phalanges, so a few more bones in its leg element than present in Pachyrhachis. Podophis has um, its legs positioned uh, farther back along its body with a shorter tail, and this is closer to the condition of modern snakes. So these three snakes seem to be transitional fossils in between the ancestral lizards which possessed legs and the modern snakes which lack them. All three possess tiny vestigial legs.